One of the foundations of event planning is to always have a plan B. And I must admit that usually applies to outdoor events. I hadn't really thought we needed a plan B for our indoor event in honoring all the inductees of Lambda de Paeda in 2020. I was wrong, but I am delighted that we found a way to honor everyone because you certainly need the recognition to know how terrific you all are. Speaking on behalf of the Communication Department at Central Connecticut State University, I just want to wish everyone the very best as you move forward and to say that in life, things happen and how you adapt to change is really fundamental. So I know that all of you have the ability to make this work for you. Congratulations on being inducted into Lambda Pi Eta. I want to introduce Dr. Chris Podlinski, who uh, is the former chair of the communication department. He's a professor, and he would have spoken to you at the ceremony, and instead we'll speak to you now. Hi, everyone. Uh, when I was asked to be speaker quite a while ago by Professor Walden, I had no idea that I'd be giving some sort of a speech and a welcoming from my attic apartment with my uh, Scotland hat on. That's a tip to Professor Walden uh, and welcoming you all. It's always been for the many years that I've been doing this, and this would be the seventh induction that I've done, just a joy to see everybody together and to kind of recognize all of the great accomplishments of the people in the communication department, specifically students who qualify for the Honor Society. I am currently on sabbatical, so I've been very used to this attic apartment for much longer than many of you. And in writing a book uh, on my sabbatical, I'm putting together an online textbook for um, interpersonal communication, looking at interpersonal communication in the 21st century in the age of social media. One of the things that I had, I had read in a lot of the articles that I had read for the particular uh, textbook was an article about effective face-to-face -face and effective communication behaviors in the workplace, which hopefully many of you will be joining shortly or you know, in a little bit of a while, perhaps after graduate school. The top two behaviors, uh, according to an article by, by Keaton, um, in the workplace, the most effective things you can do in the workplace, two behaviors that we don't do enough, are showing respect for others, treating others with respect and thanking. And so we are so often to criticize, complain, uh, grumble, um, and all the other things that we've probably been doing lately as we're uh, you know, social distancing and, and stuck into our own little places. But one thing that we never do enough, and we never did before the coronavirus, and we probably will never do after, but I hope we do, is thanking. Uh, success in the workplace is interacted is interacting in the workplace in a respectful way. When things are done well, uh, thank other people. Um, good words always are beneficial. I had many other comments that I wanted to state, but I, if I ever do a speech in person, I'm going to save that. But I wanted to make this be just a very personal, very short thank you. This is one of the greatest things that I've ever did when I was department chair for six years because it was one of those few opportunities to really thank students and show our appreciation for the best students in our particular department. So I want to congratulate all 26 of you for an induction into Lambda Pi Eta. Um, it is certainly my pleasure to congratulate you and welcome you as the newest members of Lambda Pi Eta. Uh, lambda Pi Eta comes from three Greek letters, Lambda or L, which represents logic or good reasoning abilities, Pi or P for pathos or emotion, and Eta, which is represented by the H in the logo, uh, for ethos, defined as character, credibility, and ethics. Um, you might be a little familiar. Look at this. I still have my invitation right here for the actual ceremony, and you can see the Lambda Pi Eta signa there. Uh, it comes from Aristotle, from um, probably the foundation of our field of communication, the book of rhetoric, and his understanding of how effective, persuasive communication is necessary to be a citizen in any democratic society, and it's still very important here. In a pre-COVID-19 world, a candle lighting ceremony uh, would 
commence. We would light a candle for each of the letters of Lambda Pi Eta. We would explain the purposes of the Honor Society, which according to the organization's constitution are as follows. To recognize, foster, and reward outstanding scholastic achievement. To stimulate interest in the field of communication. To provide an opportunity to discuss and exchange ideas. To promote and encourage professional development to establish and maintain close relationships and mutual understanding among faculty and students, and to explore options for further graduate education. As newly inducted members, you will be asked to accept the challenge to maintain the high academic and leadership standards set forth by the organization Lambda Pi Eta, and to serve as examples for the achievement of excellence in the field of communication. You should have received uh, from Professor Walden and her events management class, signature events. Uh, you should have received the keepsake box containing your LPH pin, your cord, which I hope you'll wear with pride at your graduation, your certificate, and a gift card, a token of appreciation uh, for your good work since we couldn't have a wonderful ceremony with friends and family and, and food and all those things. Um, as you know, the court is meant to be worn with your cap and gown at graduation ceremonies. So it is my pleasure to welcome you, to congratulate you as the unofficial faculty um, representative for the Lambda Pi Eta Tau Mu chapter. And we will welcome now Alexandra Weiss, uh, who is the Lambda Pi Eta Tau Mu chapter president. Good luck. Stay safe. Have a great summer and a great rest of your semester. Thank you, Dr. Berlinski. I've prepared a short speech for all of you. I've had the fortune of having Dr. Berlinski drop a few notes of wisdom into my time here at Central that have helped me through so much uncertainty. I'd like to thank him, Professors Joan Walden, MJ Moriarty, and Kati Ritzenhoff for the immense amount of support and love they've shown me as my mentors. They showed me something I had been looking for since I arrived nearly four years ago, a community. I felt really detached from this department for a long time. I couldn't find a way to connect to my fellow students or the faculty. In MJ's public speaking course, I felt I truly saw each of my classmates and even left with a great friend who I'd have never known otherwise. In Professor Walden's class this semester, I have gotten to team up with other hardworking creative students to try and plan and then later salvage this event. I only wish I'd found this community, these passionate, goal-driven students sooner. As we move ahead in our educations and chosen fields, we would do well to adopt the lessons of communication and collaboration. Writers finding editors, PRs working with journalism, filmmakers making a screenwriter's script. There's so much collaboration to be had, and it needs to happen. Although our time on campus was cut short, I am planning to help Lambda Pi Eta become a vehicle to provide a platform for all communication students to share their work and find the support they need to create their dream projects. My hope is that you will see how valuable each of you is to one another, how much being a part of the society can help you now and in the future. Congratulations to all of you. 2019 inductee Lauren Laporto will now read the 2020 inductees to Lambda Pi Eta. Thank you. This year's Lambda Pi Eta 2020 inductees are Anthony Belzano, Cole Benasowitz, Stephen Barth, Megan Benson, Karen Cabrera, Jenna Carpino, Lydia Curtis, Mark Diagostino, Anne Devoren, Aiden Fay, Hannah Fox, Maya Sari Gray, Riley Greider, Brianna Hurst, Leah Julian, Nicole Kramer, Jessica Lappin, Amber Martinez, Caitlin Moore, Nindango Muelelo, Louis Ramirez, Olivia Sage, Danielle Stapley, 
Amaryllis Torres, Emma Warshar, and Katie Warmer. Congratulations. We couldn't be more proud of all of you. Hey, my name is Amy Martinez. I'm a junior here at CCSU. I am majoring in media studies and minoring in strategic communications. I'm so honored to be a part of this honor society and I cannot wait to see what this organization has in store for us in the future. Thank you. I'm Anthony, I'm a film major. I'm glad to be here in the video induction honor society ceremony thing. Uh, very uh, happy to be a part of it. Um, just want to say thanks for letting me in and um, hope everyone's staying safe. You know, all that stuff. Uh, it's cool that we're doing this uh, virtually. So nice. Thanks. Hi, my name is Nicole Kramer. I would like to thank my professors and advisors for all their time and support. Being accepted into the honors program makes those all day late night study sessions trying to coordinate with group members on projects and conversations with professors worth it. I would like to take this opportunity to give a special thanks to Professor Moriarty and Professor Lewis. Being from the West Coast freshman year, trying to adapt to college life while get good grades and playing volleyball and being pushed to my breaking point, you played a major role in the support network I needed at that time. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your continued support and positivity. Thank you. My name is Luis Ramirez and I want to start off by thanking Joanne Wanda and the communications department for allowing me to be a member of this organization. I always remind myself that it's not how you start, it's how you finish, and you can apply this to anything in your life. I also want to thank my family, my professors, and my advisors for always being there for me when I need their help. They made it possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jessica Lappin, and I'm a senior here at Central. First off, I'd like to say that I am so happy and so proud to be a part of the National Communication Honor Society. I'd like to thank all of my professors for helping me these past four years, and of course my family and friends for supporting me in everything I wanted to do. Because it's my ultimate dream to work at Disney, I'm going to leave this off with a quote from Walt himself. All your dreams could come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Best of luck in the future. Thank you. Hey guys, I just want to say congratulations to everyone who's gotten to the point that we're at right now. I know I'm very proud of myself for all the hard work I've put in, so I hope you're all proud of yourselves too. This definitely isn't the celebration that we wanted or really anticipated, but it's still important to celebrate our victories in whatever way we can. Um, whether you're graduating this year, like I am, or you still have another year or semester left, just um, remember to keep working hard and don't lose sight of whatever your goals are. So congratulations everyone and good luck for whatever your future path is. Bye. Hi, this is Cole Benazowitz. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm appreciative to be part of the Honor Society and that I hope everybody is doing their best during these tough times. Receiving this honor really means a lot to me because communication is a field that I love. So when you're recognized for hard work, it feels good, but when it's for something that you really love it feels even better it feels amazing and i'm truly grateful i'm truly grateful for this opportunity and to be inducted so thank you and congratulations to everyone else hi everyone i would just like to start off by saying thank you so much to the honor society for giving me this recognition uh, it is such an honor and a privilege to be receiving this recognition i do hope that everyone is doing well and that we continue to work hard stay positive and not to worry we will be getting through this so thank you hello first i would just like to say that i am so grateful and honored for this recognition I plan to become an active member of Lambda Pi Eta, and I hope that my membership will be of value for many years to come. I really want to make a difference. Lastly, I would just like to thank my family for all of their support, and Central Connecticut State University for their amazing faculty and their exceptional communication program. Thank you. My name is Megan Benson. I just want to take the time to thank Central so much for recognizing my hard work and determination to succeed. It's been a long, hard journey, but I just want everyone to know out there that it's not impossible and you will achieve your dreams as long as you put the effort in. Thank you so much, Central, for this opportunity. I just feel so honored and uh, grateful for this induction.
My name is Katie Wormer, and I am a senior strategic communications major at Central Connecticut State University. Being inducted into Lambda Pi Eta was such an honor for me to know that not only all my hard work paid off, but it was also recognized by the communications department. During this hard time and the pandemic, I do urge everyone not to give up and know we are in this together where better days will be coming. I would also like to congratulate the rest of the inductees for this honor. Finally, I would like to thank the communications department and everybody else for your time, and I hope we can all stay healthy and safe. Thank you. Hi, it's Mark. I just want to say congrats to all the other inductees, and uh, thanks to everyone that supported me, the faculty, my parents, everyone, all my friends, um, and everyone stay safe out there. I that means a victory for me. Learning a new language as well as a new culture was not easy. In this challenging time in our history, I hope we learn something new about ourselves and our surroundings. I hope we take pride in all these changes. Life has always been busy, so let's take this chance to love and appreciate things that matter to you and your loved ones. The journey to success is longer than the success itself. Remember, we are not done yet. This journey continues. Those who are graduating in May with or without graduation ceremony, congratulations. And I encourage you to mark this moment in your history, the history you will tell many generations to come. And listen, never stop learning. If you are curious about something as you embark on a new beginning, let your curiosity guide you to something bigger. Thank you to all the professors who help us get the knowledge we need, and thank you other Adelaida who support our department. Although we are unable to be together in person, I hope you feel this honor is still very special. I hope you will wear your honor cord with pride at your December graduation ceremony, your virtual graduation ceremony, or for any pictures that you might want to take with your family. Graduation is a big deal, as is induction into this honor society. On behalf of the communication department here at CCSU, I would like to congratulate you as all and all of the 26 new inductees of Lambda Pi Ada.